द सेवन स्पिरिचुअल लॉज ऑफ सक्सेस बाय दीपक चौपा सेवन लॉ द लॉ ऑफ धर्म और पर्पस इन लाइफ एवरी वन हैज अ पर्पस इन लाइफ अ यूनिक गिफ्ट और स्पेशल टैलेंट टू गिव टू अदर्स एंड वैन वी ब्रांड दिस यूनिक टैलेंट विथ सर्विस टू अदर्स वी एक्सपीरियंस द एस्केट टेसी एंड एक्सर्टेशन ऑफ आवर ओन स्पिरिट विच इज द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ आवर गोल्स When you work, you are a flute to whose heart the whispering of the hours turns to music. And what is it to work with love? It is to weave the cloth with threads drawn from your heart. Even us, if your beloved were to bear that cloth, carry Gibran, the prophet. The step. The seventh spiritual law of success is the law of love. Dharma is a Sanskrit word that means purpose in life. The law of dharma says that we have taken manifestation in physical form to fulfill a purpose. The field of pure potentiality is divinity in its essence, and the divine takes the human form to fulfill a purpose. According to this law, you have a unique talent and a unique way of expressing it. There is something that you can do better than anyone else in the whole world, and for every Unique talent and unique expression of that talent. There are also unique needs. When these needs are matched with the creative expression of your talent, that is the spark that creates affluence. Expressing your talents to fulfill needs creates unlimited wealth and abundance. If you could start children right from the beginning with this thought, you would see the effect it has on their lives. In fact, I did this with my own children. Again and again, I told them there was a reason why they were here, and they had to find out what that reason was for themselves. From the age of four years, they heard this. I also taught them to meditate when they were about the same age, and I told them I never ever want to you to worry about making a living. If you are unable to make a living when you grow up, I will provide for you. So don't worry about that. I don't want you to focus on doing well in school. I don't want you to focus on getting the best grades or going to the best colleges. What I really want you to focus on is asking yourself how you can serve humanity and asking yourself what your unique talents are because you have a unique talent that no one else has and you have a special way of expressing that talent and no one else has it. they ended up going to the best schools getting the best grades and even in college they are unique in that they are financially self sufficient because they are focused on what they are here to give this then is the law of dharma there are three components to the law of dharma the first component says that each of us is here to discover our true self to find out on our own that our true self is spiritual that essentially we are spiritual beings that we have be taken manifestation in physical form we are not human beings that have occasional spiritual experiences it's the other way around we are spiritual beings that have occasional human experiences each of us is here to discover our higher self or our spiritual self that's the first fulfillment of the law of dharma we must find out for ourselves that inside us is a good god or goddess in imbibe that wants to be born so that we can express our divinity the second component of the law of dharma is to express our unique talents the law of dharma says that every human being has unique talent you have a talent that is unique in its expression so unique that there's no one as alive on this planet that has that talent or that expression of that talent this means that there's one thing you can do and one way of doing it that is better than anyone else on this entire planet when you are doing that one thing you lost track of time when you are expressing that one unique talent that you possess or more than one unique talent in many cases the expression of that talent takes you into timeless awareness the third component of the law of dharma is service to humanity to serve your fellow human beings and to ask yourself the question how can i help 
how can i help all those that i can came into contact with when you combine the ability to express your unique talent with service to humanity then you make full use of the law of dharma and coupled with the experience of your own spirituality the field of pure potentiality there is no way you will not have access to unlimited abundance because that is the real way abundance is achieved and that is not a temporary abundance it's permanent because of your unique talent your way of expressing it and your service and dedication to your fellow human beings which you discover through asking the question how can i help instead of what is in it me in it for me the question what what's in it for me is the internal dialogue of the ego asking how can i help is the internal dialogue of the spirit the spirit is that domain of your awareness where you experience your universality in just shifting your internal dialogue from what's in it for me to how can i help you automatically go beyond the ego into the domain of your spirit while meditation is the most useful way of entering the entering the domain of spirit simply shifting your internal dialogue to how can i help we also access the spirit that domain of your awareness where you experience your universality if you want to make maximum use of law of dharma then you have to make several commitments the first commitment is i am going to seek my higher self which is beyond my ego through spiritual practice the second commitment is i am going to discover my unique talents and finding my unique talents i am going to enjoy myself because the process of enjoyment occurs when i go into timeless awareness that's when i am in a state of bliss the third commitment is i am going to ask myself how i am best suited to serve humanity i am going to answer that question and then put it into practice i am going to use my unique talent to serve the needs of my fellow human beings i i, I will match those needs to my desire to help and serve others sit down and make a list of the answers to these to two questions ask yourself if money was no concern and you had all the time and money in the world what would you do if you would still do what you currently do then you are in a uh, in dharma because you have passion for what you do you are expressing your unique talents then ask yourself how am i best suited to serve humanity answer that question and put it into practice discover your divinity find your unique talent serve humanity with it and you can generate all the wealth that you want when your creative expression <coughs> matches the needs of your fellow humans then wealth will spontaneously flow from the unmanifest into the manifest from the realm of spirit to the world of form you will begin to experience your life as a miraculous expression of divinity not just occasionally but all the time and you will know to joy and the true meaning of success the eschatology and exaltation of your own spirit applying the law of dharma or purpose in life i will put the law of dharma into effect by making a commitment to take the following steps first today i will lovingly nurture the god or goddess in in bio that lies deep within my soul i will pay attention to the spirit within me that and animates both my body and my mind i will awaken myself to this deep stillness within my heart i will carry the consciousness of timeless eternal being in the midst of time bound experience second i will make a list of my unique talents then i will list all the things that i love to do while expressing my unique talents when i express my unique talents and use them in the service of humanity i lost track of time and create abundance in my life as well as in the lives of others third i will ask myself daily how can i serve and how can i help the answer to these question will allow me to help and serve my fellow human beings with love thank you very much for listening have a nice day